Hello and welcome to Wireshark tutorial. In this video we will see how to capture packet using Wireshark and we will learn few tips and tricks. Okay, so first I will click on capture. I will see what are interfaces are available. So I can see on the device these interfaces are available. Out of these interface only PP0 is active right now can see packets are coming going uh, using this interface so I will select this now will tree water options available okay so it says that you can have to resolve MAC address so this is a MAC resolution protocol ARP which maps to its uh, corresponding IP address so let's resolve network layer names as well uh, this is IP to DNS name and resolve transport then this is uh, the service associated with which protocol let's say HTTP is associated with port 80 so it will assume that 80 is used for uh, HTTP okay so I'll click on start so we'll wait for a few seconds to get things captured so as you can see a lot of things are getting captured over Wireshark Okay. Uh, let's uh, see yahoo.com say okay you can see a lot of thing happening happened over Wireshark okay So let us see the first column represents the number, the time when the first packet was captured, source and the destination, and the protocol used, and the length of the packet and the information. Okay, this is how we can interrupt this. So maybe you might not be interested on each and everything, so you have to start filtering out. Let's say you are working on the HTTP. Okay, so you can see only HTTP packets. Okay, just say HTTP. It will uh, show you only the HTTP packet. So as you can see, there are different colors. Uh, uh, you can see in Wireshark there are different colors are there. So each color have its own meaning like uh, you can analyze view coloring rules okay so I have chosen HTTP so HTTP is marked as this this color okay similarly you can apply any boolean filter like uh, I want to use TCP port is equal to 80 so it will give you HTTP condition and the TCP port or if you want to have more filter than DNS okay so only HTTP TCP and DNS related protocol will be displayed so if you don't, don't know any of these things you can always take help of expressions okay you can choose the your filter here and you can apply the relationship and say okay okay so I will give you a small demo like a, let's say ping youtube.com okay uh, clear out all the filter so it is uh, ping is based on ICMP protocol it uses ICMP so I can say ICMP so it says ICMP is in a valid filter okay 
so it should be in small case so i c m p okay so i am typing youtube.com and it shows here okay so you can follow the stream as well so you can say so this is icmp protocol so let's go to any tcp related stuff so let's say you want to follow this packet you can always say follow tcp stream okay like you can say right click apply as filter selected so it will only see youtube.com the ip destination okay so you can also apply as filter and select it okay so this is how the expression is getting built up let's say you want to follow udp protocol you can say udp so a lot of things are happening over udp and if you know the port number let's say my port is this 51960 okay so it will display the packets uh, which happen over udp so dns uses udp protocol uh, and within this port so all port information will be here okay so let's say now you have to analyze dns you can always choose analyze decode as dns DNS okay so domain name system response you can see so for everything there is a analyze tool here where you can decode your uh, packet uh, based on uh, based on this uh, available plugins okay let's say clear it I will show you one more time let's say you want to decode ICMP so you have to analyze decode as ICMP so this is V4 the I'll use ICMP okay So you can see on ICMP control message, everything will be displayed. Everything is decoded. What the data actually happen over, actually gone over this protocol. Okay. Now you can always say. So this is another statistics we can see the statistics of your first your PPP interface so thanks for watching this video if you have any question do let me know I will try to answer over the comment